Thank you. A 20-year-old man in critical condition after he was shot several times at a shopping center in Renton. This all happened in a parking lot near South Grady Way and Lake Avenue in Renton. And this morning, police are on the hunt for the gunman. Want to check in now with Q13's Omar Lewis, who is live from the scene with the latest details. Omar, this happened in broad daylight. Yeah, and since it happened in broad daylight, Bill and Liz, there were plenty of people visiting shops and restaurants here in this area. A good Samaritan even had to jump in and help uh, this person who was shot. He was found lying on the ground right here behind us. You can see some of these evidence markers still on the ground after this all happened. Around 4 o'clock yesterday, the gunman taking off and police want to know where that person is. Let's take you to some video. Investigators were on this scene for hours talking to witnesses, collecting surveillance video and police say that victim was rushed to Harborview Medical Center with some serious injuries as you can imagine from these gunshots and there were several witnesses and police say some of them even ran right to the victim's side. They also described a recent nursing graduate who might have helped save this victim's life. Take a listen. She is a graduate from the Seattle U's nursing program, and so she made contact with the victim and uh, assessed his injuries and provided first aid. She asked her boyfriend to take his sweatshirt off so she could apply pressure to stop the bleeding. But I'm here all the time, and I never noticed anything like it, so yeah, especially right here, Main Street in Renton. It's pretty crazy. So you can imagine the chaos out here as all of this unfolded. Those witnesses also reported that a male shooter was standing next to the car when he fired shots inside that car and then ran away. Police also say that witnesses tell them that they saw a black car or a red truck take off from this scene. Now, police are not sure exactly how they're connected to what happened here, but they do want to find the driver of a black sedan and a red truck. Back out here live this morning, police hoping someone out there has information that can lead them right to that gunman. If you know anything, you're asked to pick up the phone and call Renton police. For now, that's the very latest here in Renton this morning. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.